Hello everyone, welcome back to in my YouTube channel and today we are going to learn the electric vehicle lecture series lecture number 8th and in this lecture we are going to cover the entire VLDC motors working principle how exactly motor is rotates what are the forces torque and power is acting and if you are new at this channel please don't forget to subscribe so let us start so today we are going to cover the following things uh, let us uh, understand one by one what is they are exactly so first one is what we have what is exactly VLDC motor we are going to cover it and uh, second one construction of VLDC motor with the help of uh, diagrams and uh, images we will see ki how what are the parts and how motor exactly rotates what are the reason behind how motor is exactly rotating and the calculation of force torque and field which is one of the most important thing and working principle of VLDC motor and advantage disadvantage and many applications are there which we are going to cover today especially uh, why we are using in electric vehicles move ahead so VLDC motors are VLDC motors are a type of electric motor that operate without brushes uh, brushes are used in a DC motor just for purpose of commutation unlike traditional brush DC motors they offer high efficiency reliability and are widely used in electric vehicles drones robotics and appliances so aap jitne drones wagera dekhenge na quadcopter aate hain ya helicopter type mein jo chote chote schools mein college mein project bante hain actual mein jo drones kaam karte hain delivery and other purposes ke liye so you will see they are they are using the vldc motors uh, so what are the uh, basic parts first one is this is what the cons, uh, stator you are looking here so at these places here we are doing going to do the windings Bindings place are there. Winding place are there. Okay. So stator are stationary part and it consists of a laminated steel core, which you can see here, provides a path for the magnetic flux. Bilkul. And copper windings are there, wound in a, wound in a specific configuration and uh, like a star or delta configuration and uh, to create a electromagnetic fields. Hall sensors we are here uh, uh, what, why I am saying it is optional because every motor doesn't have if you are uh, like uh, using the motor for a very uh, a small project and all no necessary for using the hall sensor there and hall sensors basically are doing the detect rotor positioning and for uh, precise control and we will we will we will uh, record a, we will record a separate session. Uh, for especially for hall sensors because they are very much useful very very much useful and uh, construction of VLDC motors may second part is what our rotors and rotor is nothing but the rotating part of the motor you can see here and it consists of permanent magnets made of rare earth materials like uh, neodymium and uh, mounted on the rotor and shaft is transmit the mechanical power uh, to the load and the housing we are using for the stator and rotor providing structural support and protection okay so housing is for the uh, like a for the design purpose of mechanical loading and all how motor rotates this is a very important question so step by step i am going to explain okay so focus here so suppose motor we know it is an electric device okay it is a electric device that means we require a current so what the processes are uh, taking place first one is what magnetic field creation when an electric current <coughs> see we are connecting with, with the battery here so current is going to this side and returning to for completion of circuit from this side from this side so this is for the pro, uh, process because current is passing from the battery and again it is coming to battery with the help of this uh, armature okay 
this is called wire coil conductor or we we called it armature uh, so first of all when current is passing through a coil conductor so that create a magnetic field okay so this is what the first thing and second thing to find the direction of magnetic we'll see if the it is it is perpendicular suppose this is the direction of field so the what the force will create because of this so that direction will be uh, is this side or this side okay so it is it is in this in this case it is in this side so when the current will return from here to here you can see the force in this side and here with the help of one diagram you can understand one force is acting on this side other one is acting on this side so that will create a rotation what will create that will create a rotation this is the single region of a rotation of motor actually if the wire is placed in an external magnetic field the two magnetic field interacts producing a force on a wire and this is similar to the force between two bar magnets don't worry we are going to calculate it what is the amount of force and the force acting in opposite direction each side of the wire causing it to rotate see one force is acting in this direction as i told you other one is acting in this direction or if we are going to change the polarity what will happen one force is acting in this direction other one is acting in this direction so that will create a couple here okay if it is acting in this direction other one is acting in this direction so that will create a couple and which will rotate it that's that's why we are calling it a torque so we will calculate the torque of motor as well so how motor rotates uh, i have here three diagrams just taken from the internet so that i can explain properly so this is the battery current is passing here through the brushes because the construction of motor initially was done with the help of brushes only and uh, we use the uh, some other thing in vldc motor for the commutation purpose that i will explain later so current is passing from here to here and it is returning from here to here you can see that this is the direction of force in this side and this is the direction of force in this side in this side direction of force and this is the direction of force which create a, uh, a rotating movement and this is what north pole and this is south pole that is called the, that is the magnets they are the magnets basically the same thing here you can see the force is acting in this direction current is passing here here force is creating in this direction and when it is coming back to uh, battery the force is creating in this side and that is uh, reason for the rotating of moment and that force is equal to what f is equal to i bl and sin theta is of course there because we are looking the maximum uh, force so sin theta would be 90 degree i is the what the current l is the what the length of conductor and b is nothing but it is the magnetic field and here next you can see the how the force a torque and fields are producing so with the help of a small calculation i have explained here each and everything okay so first one is what uh, like a electric motor produces a force using lorentz force so amne 11 12 mein 12th mein padha hua what is exactly lorentz force and that is what f is equal to q cross f is equal to v cross b and v is the velocity b is the magnetic field and q is the charge charge in motion and in a motor instead of individual particle uh, the principle applies current carrying conductor in a magnetic field and the, how the torque is produced this is what the force uh, in produ uh, producing in the direction of uh, direction of perpendicular to the direction of field actually and how the torque is producing because we have already a force so torque is equal to we are multiply force into uh, the distance radial distance so that is what is small r we are predicting small r is the force on the f is the force on conductor and t is the torque and uh, r is the distance between axis of rotation see one force is acting in this direction other one is acting in this direction so this is the distance of r okay i hope now it is clear and force on a conductor the overall force is equal f is equal to i v l sin theta and we are keeping uh, theta is a 90 degree here how much sin 90 is equal to what sin 90 is equal to 1 so we we can say force f is equal to i b and l okay and what is the total torque in a motor 
so suppose we have n number of conductors or n number of turns so we will multiply simply with the help of n so that is what f into n into f into r and for the power we can simply p is equal to torque into angular velocity which it will take in the radian per second so you can just take a screenshot or note down this and uh, let us let us take one example as a calculation part okay so suppose we have a magnetic field distance of uh, is 0.5 tesla and current we are supplying two conductor this was sim something like this na yeah 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 okay and here we have a strong magnets are there n and s pole is there so current is going here the, that current is what 10 ampere the field which is here so that is field is what 0.5 tesla and angle is what 90 degree and so step one force calculation so we will just multiply all these we will get one newton and uh, other thing is what other thing is uh, here we can we can say the torque calculation torque is equal to nothing but f into r you know formula already r is equal to 0 0.1 and force is 1 newton so we get we get 0 0.1 newton meter and for the uh, like uh, power calculation simply we should know about the uh, angular velocity so we are keeping it 100 radian per second and torque is 0 0.1 so we have the 10 watt so what we will get a power with these uh, these uh, inputs we will get 10 watt power okay friends let us move ahead factor affecting the force production what are the factors so because we know ki f is equal to what i b l means these three factors are responsible this one l b and i mostly so magnetic field distance if b will be higher if b will be higher what will happen f also will be higher current i if we will increase the current this f will increase and length of conductor if we will increase the current uh, force also will con uh, increase so that is what the, all these are the f is what directly proportional to i directly proportional to b and directly proportional to l so we can say and theta we should take a maximum for the maximum force and if we will take a sign zero so that will create a zero absolutely force will be zero and if you are looking for study materials and uh, a certification program, don't forget to contact on a given numbers. And next one working principle of VLDC motor, how it is working step by step, uh, we will understand. First one, uh, electrical input. So DC power is supplied to the motor by electronic controller and commutation uh, controller switches the current in a stator windings, creating a rotating magnetic so that is what the step by step the principle commutation and magnetic uh, interaction the rotor rotors permanent magnet aligning with the rotating uh, magnetic field causing the rotator to spin and we are getting the feedback of like uh, position of the motor uh, precise timing what is the current what is the voltage all voltage and all current we will explain uh, this uh, all sensors uh, during uh, session that will be the next session no problem at all and what are the types of we have basically two types of inner rotor VLDC motor and outer rotor VLDC motor and here you can see the images of inner and outer rotor VLDC motors and uh, a permanent magnet are mounted on the rotor inside the stator okay and here you can see permanent magnet are mounted outside of the stator so these are the basic difference somewhere uh, for outsider rotor they have higher torque higher torque and here they have higher rpm n is n is stronger here t is stronger okay friends so what is the advantage high efficiency absolutely durability is there precise control compact size and low maintenance of the vldc motors here you can see the things are there and what is the limitation cost of manufacturing is high complexity is there overheating risk is there and we are using in electric vehicles drones home appliances and automation and controls and in next session we are going to cover the whole sensor effect complete detailing types working and we will focus on the synchronous motor working principle advantage why we used in uh, electric vehicles 
सो आई होप यू हैव इंजॉयड दिस स्मॉल सेशन फिफ्टीन मिनट सेशन प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड इफ यू आर लुकिंग फॉर द सर्टिफिकेट